Hey there, it's Christian from Seven Gaming Network and today I've got a review for you of a Kickstarter that was fairly recently landed. Uh, now, I love space horror, one of my favourite themes. Uh, and today's game really is all about that because today's game is called Adele. And uh, Adele, uh, in case you're wondering, is the onboard computer on a spaceship that is going to be played by one of the players playing the game. And then this spaceship is going to have some astronauts on it, played by the other players, and Adele is trying to kill the astronauts. Straight away, that is a theme that I'm interested and I'm intrigued by. And I really was very excited to see how they would bring this theme to life, mechanically speaking. But before we get into all of that, I'm going to just quickly mention the components. Largely because this wasn't a particularly widely backed Kickstarter, uh, it didn't raise a huge amount, uh, and so I did have some reservations about what the quality of the components would be like, and I'm pleased to say they're really good. Uh, lovely thick cardstock uh, on the board, on the tokens, on the various other player boards that there are, um, and I have to say the art is something that has really grown on me. Now they've gone for this kind of very sepia sort of tint <laughs> um, on on the outside um, but of course that spaceship looks really cool and the astronaut sort of rather precariously dangling off from it you can tell something's going wrong there um, but the art throughout has got this very excellent sort of throwback feel to it and I think that's because a lot of the game really does seem to take inspiration of course from 2001 A Space Odyssey you've got an onboard ship computer trying to off the inhabitants of said ship. Uh, so that kind of early, well, I should say 1970s feel really is represented in this kind of art. Uh, they've done a fantastic job on things like um, the card art or the art on the little tokens. And of course, then there's the board itself with the spaceship on or the spaceships because it's actually double sided, which is a really welcome little uh, extra. The spaceships themselves, as I was playing the game through it, I was really coming to enjoy some of the just little details that they put on the spaceships that helped to bring the overall experience to life. So the components are really nice and no problems at all there. Um, so what is the game really like uh, and what did I like about it? Well, Adele really at its heart is a, a kind of information management and deduction game and that's because the astronauts have information that Adele doesn't know and where a lot of the tension and real excitement in this game comes from is in the astronaut players desperately trying to communicate with each other and share the bits of information that they each have but without giving it away to the Adele player because what the Adele player is going to be trying to do is trying to thwart the astronauts' efforts to complete their mission. Their mission being either to, well, switch off Adele and uh, stop her from being able to do anything on the ship, um, or actually get to the location. They're actually trying to complete the journey, such as it were. And so those are the two kind of main missions that the astronaut players are trying to complete. And Adele's job is to stop them doing it. And she's going to do that by placing fire around the ship uh, by venting oxygen out of compartments, uh, by switching all the lights off and making it very difficult for the players to move around and do things, locking doors uh, and even taking over the security cameras and the audio to listen in and watch what the astronauts are doing. Adele really does have uh, a box of tricks to use against the astronauts to try and gain the information that she needs and then to do her worst to those astronaut players, to stop them getting their mission items into the all-important mission rooms that Adele doesn't know and that the players only partly know. And the players only partly know this because it is a determined at the start the little bit of information that they will have, but they can only share that information with other astronauts when they're literally physically together in one of the compartments on the spaceship. It's a really cool touch that means that the players need to memorise information that someone else has shared with them unless they 
use time to go back to the other astronaut on the board and then be able to ask the other player, wow, I need to see that thing again. What was it you had? The actual management of the information around this game is one of the things that truly makes it stand out. It really does escalate the tension when the Adele player is able to listen into every conversation, as the rules specifically state that the astronauts have to have all of their conversations within earshot of the Adele player. Um, and the astronauts are finding themselves having these almost cryptic conversations with each other, uh, trying not to give away the information to the Adele player, but still to get across the information that's necessary for the fellow astronauts to be able to complete the missions. It's a really delicious tension that's created by this rule set. The rule set itself is nice and simple and clean. The rule book is a fairly short affair because the rules are not particularly complex. There is quite a bit of setup to make sure you get it right. It'll take 10 minutes to do that. Uh, but after that, it is a fairly straightforward rule set with very little ambiguity in the rules. I have really enjoyed playing uh, both as an astronaut and as Adele, and it is a different experience. As the Adele player, you do feel quite powerful that you were able to affect all these areas of the ship within reason. You have to play cards to be able to play out your hazard in, in certain areas. And so you can get a little bit stymied by the cards, but generally it feels really great to be setting compartments on fire and venting oxygen and all these sorts of things. Uh, and the groans from your players, um, from the astronaut players when they suddenly realise they can't do something because of the new hazard that you've put into their uh, path, it, it, it really is great fun. And when it comes to being an astronaut player, um, it, it's, it's quite scary. You know, it really can feel like Adele is after you and trying to finish off your little astronaut and that you're doing your level best to avoid that but also to engage in some subterfuge and mislead Adele and uh, you meet up with the other astronauts and you're swapping items and trying to keep Adele getting as to who has the all important mission items. And actually the items in the game are something that are really one of the standout parts of the design for me. Uh, there are a whole bunch of utility style items that essentially give your astronaut a special ability, i.e. you can have fire extinguisher so that you can put fire out in rooms. You can put on a spacesuit, which will allow you to then go through rooms that have had their oxygen vented. The spacesuit even allows you to use hatches on the outside, on the uh, external parts of the ship and move around outside, therefore bypassing some of the hazards that Dell player might put out. But you've got to be careful. Spacesuits and other electrical items they have charges, and so you can only use them for so many turns. And if for some reason you're outside, when your spacesuit runs out of power, that's an Adele win, because guess what? That astronaut's not going to last very long. And it's players taking actions that's really kind of the heart of this game. Each player has four action cubes that they will allocate to various available actions to them, such as moving around various rooms of the spaceship, uh, it'll be searching rooms, uh, opening doors, uh, and even activating various computer consoles around the ship, which can have a variety of effects depending on which console they're using, uh, such as using an engineering console to create new items, uh, to fabricate an item, or you could even use maybe the repair module to repair damage to the ship if maybe asteroids have been hitting it from the outside. What's really cool is that the players will decide what they're going to do in secret behind a shield uh, and then the Adele player will take their turn using energy and cards to place out hazards across the ship and the Adele player has to kind of guess where they think the astronauts are going to be going or working or activating whatever and this is where some of the real interest comes. The Adele player is trying to gain this information from the players and listening to conversations and observing their movements to try and work out, well, what room are they trying to get to? Have they found an important item for their mission? Uh, and I've got to stop that player. But once the Adele player has done what they're going to do for the turn, then all the astronauts reveal the actions that they're going to take for the turn and then go about doing those actions. And so those actions will see astronauts putting on spacesuits and maybe uh, going around the outside of the ship, even actually leaving the ship, or 
Perhaps they'll put on a spacesuit as another example using that to go through a room that the Adele player has vented all the oxygen in uh, and so it's a hypoxic atmosphere and they need a spacesuit to be able to go through it. Uh, you can have the Adele player switching the lights off, making it a slow crawl to get through those areas. You can have players who will use things like torches. But these electrical items, of course, they need electricity, they need charge, they need power. Uh, and even these items will have timers. And, and so again, you're creating this uh, sense of tension, even through using the items you're going to use to overcome the various hazards that the Dell player is placing in the astronaut's path. The game will really build to a climax as the Dell player is desperately trying to work out which astronauts have the important mission items uh, and where are they trying to get it to. And it is a constant game of cat and mouse with the Adele player desperately trying to leverage the various abilities that he or she can to get in the way of the astronauts. And of course with the ultimate aim, hopefully, for the Adele player of trying to reduce one of the astronauts to zero hit points. And of course the plucky astronauts are constantly trying to thwart Adele's efforts to thwart them uh, and they're grabbing items and maybe meeting up and passing items between them to keep the Adele player guessing as to, well, who who is the one with the mission items? Who does he or she need to focus on stopping? It's a really fascinating game state that happens. It's very, very dynamic, every game, and it's a lot of fun as each player tries to gain information from the other or try and keep that information away from the other. It really is uh, one of the true joys of, of this game of Adele. Now, you can get a sense that I really enjoyed the games of this that I've played, and I actually don't have a great deal of criticism about the game. The game is relatively simple. Uh, you do need to make sure you get the setup right, and there is always, as there is with any of these sort of hidden information uh, deduction style games, there is a bit of a sense of uh, pressure. You know, some people just don't like those kind of games where they're scared of giving away the wrong piece of information uh, at a certain moment. But I think if you like these kind of games, this is a really tight, solidly made game. I think it's been really well tested and the overall, um, there's not so much balance you know, between items and things like that. There's nothing that you're using someone's going, oh, that's a really OP sort of item. It's not that kind of game. Uh, it really is that an item gives you an ability. And then that ability will allow you to overcome a particular challenge that Adele's trying to put in your way to slow you down or take you out. Um, and so in terms of balance in the game, it's a pretty straightforward game in terms of the rule set. And actually that makes for a really tight, quite competitive kind of uh, experience when you come to play this game. One of the things I have to uh, mention as well is I did the Kickstarter, so you do get a couple of uh, nice miniatures, uh, four nice miniatures for uh, representing the astronauts. But also, it doesn't stop there, there's also um, a pack with a scenario book in. And the scenario book was a really nice addition because the scenario book brings in essentially being able to do solo play. And then there's a whole number of scenarios where you, as the astronaut player, uh, can be taking on Adele and trying to survive in a really great set of varied missions. Everything from trying to survive a ship that's got lots of fire on it, which is always a problem in space, of course, um, through to uh, trying to uh, use gun emplacements on the ship to blow up asteroids that are coming in or that there's some sort of alien life form has appeared on the ship uh, and that you are having to survive that situation. The scenario book of course doesn't just give you solo stuff it also allows you to then uh, play cooperatively uh, against the AI Adele. Another great addition now one of the things that I also did was I bought the uh, expansion pack that goes with the game because hey, it's called the Alien Module. So of course we're gonna buy that if you like space horror. Now, this module is uh, not official Alien, <laughs> but uh, it really is um, a, a kind of extension of one of the scenarios that you find in the scenario book. 
and they really have gone to town on this one that essentially in this setting Adele is on your side <laughs> um, and it's Adele and the human players fighting against one other player who is playing as the alien that has invaded the ship and is essentially trying to infest the ship and take over. Uh, it is another excellent rule set that creates um, a whole new type of tension uh, but again with this wonderful theming of now you're up against an alien rather than a ship. Both really cool threats for the players to deal with. So who's this game for? Well actually there's real variety here. This is actually a really fun solo game. There's a really good, if you get hold of the scenario booklet, which I imagine there being only the one Kickstarter, I think this is how you're going to get hold of it. You're going to get hold of it from someone who's done a Kickstarter and I'm, this comes with it as far as I understand. Um, so uh, solo play, it's really solid. But where this really shines is as a group experience with um, certainly three players. Three players is great because, of course, you have the two players against the one uh, and you want that sort of conversation. You can play it two player, but I think it's really great having that uh, cooperation between the astronaut players because that's where the Adele player is going to start gleaning lots and lots of information. Uh, the two-player co-op is good fun. Uh, again, you're going up against uh, an AI Adele. If you like going up against AI type stuff, again, it's well designed. There's multiple ways of increasing the challenge or decreasing the challenge. And so it should be, you should be able to find a sweet spot for you and your partner when you come to play that. But there's no doubt about it. This game really shines when you've got four or even up to five, because you can have four astronauts and one Adele. And there's just so much tension that happens at the board. Uh, this is a game that doesn't take massively long to play. It's sort of an hour and a half to maybe two hours if you've got a higher play account. But all the way through, there is interesting choices to be made and the constant tension of managing the, all the hidden information in this game. All in all, this is a real surprise hit for me. I backed it because I thought the theme sounded really good. I wasn't sure about whether the components would come through and it would be a nice production. I didn't really know whether the rule set was going to be adequate for making a really tense and involved game. But my goodness, it really delivers. And so I think your main difficulty when it comes to Adele is just going to be getting hold of a copy. It wasn't widely kickstarted, um, and I imagine those that have kickstarted it are going to be quite keen to hold on to their copies more than likely because this is a really solid game. So there it is, the space horror experience uh, full of tension that is Adele. It's a really great game, and it's one that's going to be staying in my collection for quite some time. I really hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please click a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time. Keep enjoying your gaming.